bum 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 I can't see anything through all of this fog it makes it a little difficult to investigate whoa Poliwag, are you okay getting tossed out of the fucking lake surprisingly springy that's good doesn't look like they're injured at all good for them but what about me uh, sorry Pikachu but where did they come flying from I don't know from yo mama's booty hole hey Tim look at that masquerade they were masquerade hold on are masquerade causing the fog it sure seems like it but why hey because it's some gang activity what's going on here you gotta stop the fog. What do you mean, no? Is something out there? Seems like they're worried about outsiders. What should we do? Yes, communicate with him. Be gone, thought. Wow. Look at that. Thanks for helping, Feebas. Phoebe, Phoebe, ba. Phoebe, Phoebe, ba. Phoebe, 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 ba. Phoebe, 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 ba. Phoebe, 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 ba. All right, the fog's cleared up. But why were the mask crane causing the fog in the first place? It seems like they were trying to keep their friends hidden from the scary Pokemon that started living in the lake. A scary Pokemon? Is that the cause of all the wounded Pokemon? I imagine so. Let's figure out what it actually is. Hmm. Beep, ah. You did great earlier. Thanks to you, the fog is going we can investigate around the lake. Beep, beep. Were your wounds from the same Pokemon that attacked the masquerade? Feeba. It was so foggy I couldn't see who attacked, but it doesn't remember its body being clasped by a pincer, and it says it hurts a lot. Huh. Don't be so frightened. Tim and I will solve this case in a jiffy. You'll see. Mas, mas. They say it just showed up here one day and has been attacking any point that gets too close. It's so angry it won't listen to anything and they, blah, 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 they say to try to avoid it. If it's angry, what would it be? Is it a kingler? Oh, it's a fishing rod. But it's broken. It's useless like this. Polly. I'm glad you're not hurt. I guess it's thanks to Pikachu. Hey, I'm not an airbag, you know. Why well, do we get so close? You're slimy. Do you think you could tell us about whatever attacked you? How? What's wrong? You seem reluctant. What? It looked like the guy next to me. It can look next to me. What do they mean by that? I think it's a crawdon. If he's red and blue. What's wrong? They seem agitated. It looks like they're scared of the lake. It's because of something hiding in the lake? It's Murkrow. It's gotta be Murkrow. You guys are right. Look at that! What a gash! It's as if something took a chunk out of it using huge claws. What? This gash is also caused by the scary thing. Whatever it is, it was done for. It was done when we got attacked. No kidding, we better be careful. We be done for when we get attacked. No kidding, we better be careful when we investigate. Let's take a set Volcanion. What was that sound? Look over there, there's something splashing around in the water. Let's see what it is. Like a Pikachu took off. What in the world is that? Is there something in the lake? I can't see it too well from here. Beep, beep. You go check it out? It's dangerous. He's right. I appreciate the thought, but we should really wait and see. My nigga about to get smacked up. Feeba. Hey, Feebas. Chucks things aside with its pincers. Right on! My nigga, you toss this bitch again. Feebas, are you okay? Hey, are you all right? Doesn't look like it has any serious wounds. No need to be so reckless, though. Still, now we need to know who the scary Pokemon is. Now we know who the scary Pokemon is thanks to Feebas. That's true, thanks. Feeba, Feeba. So, Walls is interesting after all, but still, what's wrong? I just wonder why a Crawdon is in the lake. I've never seen a Crawdon in this area before, before the fog came in. A Crawdon is causing trouble when it's not even native to this island. So, what does it all mean? It's worth looking into. What is the truth of the fog situation? What is the truth? 
make sure to keep an eye out for clues. Did you get testimony from the Pokemon? What is the truth of the fog situation? Well, can I talk to this little bitch? Ugly ass whore. You can't even talk to the Crawdon. He went back underwater. I wonder what this wood fragment is. It looks like it has a corner, so it probably was a box or something. Why would a wooden box fragment be at the lake? And look, there's a large gash on the inside. You're right, as if something was clawing from the inside. He was shipped here. Hey, little bitch. Hey, Pikachu, what do you think this wooden chunk is? Well, let's see. Well, the wood has white paint on it, so it could be a useful clue, so let's have to hang on for it now. There's an empty bottle here. It could be a clue. We should pick it up just in case. A broken bottle. No, you don't have to worry. You don't have to leave the lake. Don't worry. He's right. We'll figure something out. But until we do, just stay away from the crawdon, okay? Well, that doesn't help us. A red body, big claws. They say the Pokemon that's been chasing their friends. It seems like crawdon is short-tempered to begin with. Even when the mass crane tried to scare it off with their eye-like antenna, it just tried to attack them. So all they could do is create this thick fog and try to hide their friends, huh? He's short-tempered. Beep. No kidding, I was surprised too. It seems like it's very wary of us. I don't think I'll be able to speak to it. It definitely seems to have a temper. There's no way we can get close to it if it keeps swinging its claws around like that. I guess we just have to stay away from Crawdon while we investigate. That defeats the purpose. We know it's Crawdon. So let's just talk to the fucking Crawdon. Huh? So the one attacking the Pokemon was Crawdon. Milo, do you know much about Crawdon? Not really, I've only read it in books. Apparently they can live just about anywhere. So the water quality has changed and they can still survive. Interesting, do you think the Crawdon thinks the lake is its territory? If that's the case, we're in trouble. They're very protective of their homes. Getting it to move won't be easy at all. Put a trank dart in that bitch. Master ball the hoe. Things just keep getting better, don't they? My nigga just screams at me. What? Pokemon were getting hurt because Crawdon attacked them. Now, why would Crawdon do something like that? Why would Crawdon do something like that? Because he's mad. Doug. Yeah, it's his territory. Crawdon is chasing away anyone who dares to get close to the lake. Obviously, it's being territorial. Mm hmm. For some reason, this Crawdon thinks the lake is its turf. But it's not a Pokemon that's normally seen around here. So the question is how did it get to the lake? Are there any clues? True, we can look true, at? true, very true. What clues? What clues we got? How did it get to the lake? We got a wooden box with, fra with uh, fragments inside. A bottle that's broken in half. Do you think that's uh, no, no, that's not right. Yeah, Jerome, thank you for gifting the subscription to Aesthetic Dude. I appreciate it. I'm just gonna try it. Do you think you know there what? it is? The claw marks on the inside of the box are just like the marks on the trees. Yes! Someone put Crawdon into that box and then brought it to the lake. <laughs> yes! Fucking detective work! So Crawl was the one who was wounding all these Pokemon. Yeah, they should prove that Walls is innocent. Thanks, Tim. Someone brought a Crawdon here, and I think that's what's been hurting the other Pokemon. We've proven that Walls isn't responsible. Yeet dab. We've proven that Walls isn't responsible. Bum bum, bum bum.
You know, I was halfway over for a video to play so I could crash this. Crash this? Crush this while the video was playing, but it didn't. We're just sitting here. <laughs> Let's head back to Wall's place and let Brad know about what we found. Sure. I don't want this nigga screaming at me no more. I don't need this nigga screaming at me no more. Don't scream at me. Don't scream at me no more. Brad, Walls isn't the culprit behind the fog situation. Hmm. <clears throat> don't you think you're just jumping to conclusions? What do you mean by that? It could have been Walls who's captured Crona in that box and brought it to the lake. Why do you always think that way? Walls is a Pokemon researcher. Even if he's been disgraced, I bet he could get a hold of a Crawdon very easily. But that, if you insist that Walls isn't the one who brought Crawdon to the lake, then show me proof! Okay, I promise I'll find evidence that proves Walls' innocence. In that case, I skipped A. Fuck. If Walls isn't the one who brought Crawdon to the lake, then show me- I'm looking at it back on stream. I'm looking at it back on stream. Undeniable evidence. That's all I saw. Theory is correct, Tim. Unless we can find the culprit who brought Crawdon to the lake, Brad is not going to change his mind. I agree, but who could have done such a thing and why? Hey Tim, I'll stay by Walls. He's not showing it, but he's got. But this has got to be hard on him. I understand. Let's leave the rest to us. All right, back to the investigation. Prove Walls' innocence. This nigga Walls better tell us everything we want to fucking know. Everything we want to know. In order to prove Walls' innocence, we really need to figure out who brought Crawdon here. The timber movers, they moved the box. So he can tell us who brought in the shipment. I do want to talk to Walls real quick though. It's not I who brought Crawdon here. It would be too difficult for Walls to carry the Crawdon here all by himself. Even living this place close to Lake would have been diff a little bit pretty obvious if he had been lugging around a cargo box big enough to hold a Crawdon. That's a good point. I wonder how the culprit was able to get a Crawdon to the lake. He got it to the lake because of the timber move. Free my boy Walls, you're right. My boy Walls is being accused of something he did not and look at here. I wonder what they're up to. Yeah. We're building the bridge. Pieces of wood. Oh, I know. They're going to fix the bridge. Deductive reasoning. Uh, that doesn't explain why they're carrying a flag. <laughs> so the timber know which house to take it to. They're just really focused on their work. Well, let's go aggravate them. I wonder what that flag was. It looked like the flags and the inhabitants of this island have in front of their houses. Maybe the chief of timber transport can tell us something about these wooden boxes. We should go ask him. Hey, bitch! We can finally start fixing the bridge now. Once the bridge is fixed, we'll be able to investigate the far shore of the lake. Huh? Oh, you mean the flags over there? Those are landmarks for timber. What do you mean? If you want timber to carry the box to the right location, you need to lead them there with a flag that matches and mark the box. Now that you mention it, each flag has boxes with the same mark nearby. You only need to guide them once. From the second time onward, all you need to do is put the flag right by the place and they'll figure it out. Pretty smart, huh? Hmm. What's on your mind, Pikachu? Could it be that the culprit uses this whole flag system to have timber carry crawled onto the lake? The timber transport? They're definitely strong enough, and besides, nobody would look twice if they were carrying a box through town. It does make more sense than to assume Wall somehow managed to sneak the box all the way to the lake by himself. Let's check with the chief himself. I'm sorry, but I don't have any idea who the culprit might be. I mean, you'd think I'd notice that there's some weirdo wandering around with a big box. That figures! How could someone carry a big box without anyone noticing? You're saying that Timber could have carried the box that crawled out in it? Do you think we're responsible or something? No, of course not. It's impossible anyway. See, Timber would never be able to take a box to the lake. There's no special mark for the lake in the first place. What? If you don't believe me, go check the bulletin board in the docks. There's a chart with all the marks we used, plus a record of all the packages we gathered. Alright, let's head to the town then. Hmm. Hmm. That is a good point I didn't think about. I don't care about fixing the fucking bridge. Hello? Yes. Krona was wounded, was wounding all those Pokemon? Who would do such a thing? Can you think of anyone who might be responsible? No, I can't imagine anyone living on this island would do something so terrible. Hmm. So it couldn't have been the timber. 
because the timber wouldn't know. Oh shit! How's the investigation? Do you know him? Yes, he's the son of one of the boss's friends. We came to this island together. Oh, so that's why you're looking after him. Hey, Pikachu, am I being self-conscious or is Brad glaring at me? I bet he's just jealous. Don't worry about it. Oh, Tim, you were gone for a while, so I was getting worried. Sorry about that, Amanda. It seems like things are really getting exciting here. Is there anything I can do to help? Are you close to Brad? No, I only see him from time to time at crime scenes. He's so friendly and funny. Friendly? Funny? Brad's trying to get in him, sugar walls! He's jealous of us. Brad is saying that Mr. Walls is the one who brought Crawd onto the island. Is it true? I can't say for certain, but I just can't believe Walls is the culprit of all this. So Crawdon was the one hurting all the other Pokemon. Who brought it here? Hmm. Excuse me. I've got a bulletin board to check. Is this the record the Chief was talking about? Looks like it. They should tell us more about the luggage Timber delivered last week. What do you think it is? It's got these marks on it together with names. It looks like a list that tells us where each box of luggage goes. The marks on the boxes are for special houses. The mark on the lake, it doesn't exist after all. Just like the chief said, huh? Oh well. There's recruitment ad for timber transport. Delivery staff want to come get ripped with the best. Uh, are they advertising the right thing? To be fair, they were in pretty good shape. It's an ad for timber transport. Ah, very simple. And this looks like their collection records. So a record of all the packages they received here, right? What does it say? Uh, two triangle, one square, three crosshair, one circle. I wonder what this means. Well, there's no luggage that was sent to the lake going to the bulletin board. There isn't a mark for the lake at all. Maybe it wasn't Timber that carried the box after all. Who knows? Let's make sure to check all the packages are delivered and scheduled anyways. Good idea. We can also see if they notice anything when they receive their packages. If you forget which mark was for which home, just check the flag out in front of each house. This is very detailed. This is very, very detailed. Why don't we check the houses with the marks? We'll see if last week's deliveries were made properly and used the collection to make sure we don't miss a thing. Two triangle, one square, one crosshair, three crosshair. Whoa. So what's the first one? Two triangle. I received two packages last week. I didn't notice anything unusual about my stuff, but was there something else? I remember Timber were carrying around a big wooden box a day. I wonder what was in it. What? A big wooden box? Yeah, that was, a. Uh, would say, maybe double the size of the Timber. A box that size could probably hold crawl on. Did you see where Timber delivered that box to? I saw them head in the direction of the bridge, but that's it. Sorry, I'm not more help. Seems like this package was delivered properly. Square, crosshair, circle. Fuck him. You the owner of this here bungalow? I got one last week. I ordered a record player, but it was busted on a ride when I couldn't use it. Oh, that's too bad. I went and asked the chief to see if he could fix it for me, but he said it'd be hard. Luis was saying I need to order and replace some parts. Luis, she was there too? Luis was the, with the chief too? Oh yeah, she was helping him put the stickers on all the boxes at the dock. Luis is such a kind person. I think Luis shipped the crawl on And she was, uh... Loving up on the chief to get her yes, package moved. This package was delivered just like it says. Or wait, does this count as X? What? I received three packages last week. A camera and a tripod and a whatnot. Oh, that's cool. I just want to take pictures of the island's natural splendor before the construction for the resort begins. There is some talk of building a resort here in order to really show off the nature. Luis is head of the project. The nature here is very unique and precious, so if a resort were to be built, I imagine we'd get a swarm of tourists. This project might make life easier for us, but we'd also be losing some important things. I'm personally against the whole resort thing. I guess not everyone is thrilled about the plan. We know how many packages he got. Let's check the records, too. So, the number of packages delivered does match the records. Yo. Yeah. So we just got one left. 
and it's walls. And he got one package delivered, and it was a crawdon and a box. Baby, baby, can't you see? It's my crawdon and a Dr. box. Dr. Walls is behind all of this? You know I can't divulge sensitive information like that. Hmm? Well, hi. Still investigating, are we? It's no use. I've got this case practically closed. Don't be so sure. Hmm. There are still a lot of things to look into. You're investigating the case too? Anything hmm. turn up? Yes. There are quite a few things. Oh. Well, good luck, Tim. Sprint! 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 <laughs> you tell that bitch to fuck off. Catch a cold. Me, Lena. Sprint! <laughs> you know what? I think it's Spritzy's scent. It's too strong. It's making you sneeze. Heck, ain't it? So get your nose out of her puss. <laughs> I guess having a sensitive nose isn't always good. See you around, sneezy pants. Spritz, Spritz. <laughs> What's going on with you, Minnie? <laughs> Dog, relax. Oh, standing guard, huh? Well, good for you. Huh, you're way too uptight. You just smell, enjoy things in life like this smell. This manuscript is not helpful. Yeah, it didn't seem like it was offended that Manestra didn't like its scent. Can you tell me why Manestra gets sneezing? It could be possible that Walls had timber carried in the wooden box. All my men look into it immediately. I swear he really wants Walls to be the culprit, doesn't he? Why did you tell Luis? You stop telling everyone Walls is the culprit. What are you talking about? It's my duty as a police officer to help citizens remove any uncertainties they may have. Huh, he doesn't even have any evidence. Just wait, you wait. We'll get to the bottom of things. All right, Mr. Walls, did you get your goddamn package? Did you get your goddamn package last week? I didn't receive any packages last week. I wasn't expecting one either, so I hadn't ordered anything. What? Let's compare the records of the testimony we gathered. So, a box was delivered to his place, but it wasn't for him. So what do you think is going on? Hmm. I'm confident hmm. we've checked all the marks. Hmm. And it appears that Walls is missing one package. We really should look into that. One package is missing! According to the records, there was one box that was for Walls, but where is it gone? Maybe Crawlock came in the missing box. Who knows? Let's get to let's go see what Walls and the Chief have to say before we come to any conclusions. Walls. The world is not forgiving those who have made mistakes. According to the records, there was one box delivered to you, Mr. Dorm, to Dr. Walls. You say that, but the fact remains that no box was delivered to me. Maybe the Chief made a mistake. This is getting us nowhere. Maybe we should double check with the Chief. Did the Chief make a mistake? Huh. Hmm. What do you want, Doug? All right. Mean that trick? You know what to do, don't you? Oh, but... No! Not Rude. my hat! Uh, you were supposed to fetch. Rude ass main entry. Taking advantage of my thick nigga Pikachu's height. Hey, bitch, you fucking up. Have you finished repairing the bridge? Indeed we have. Brad was the first one to cross, too. Oh. What, a package addressed to Mr. Walls has gone missing? Didn't I pick up a piece of wood with a white circle, not yellow? I think the inside is white. I don't know. Yes, actually, Wall said he wasn't expecting a package at all. Maybe I messed up the names of my records. I'm sure wish I could check with the timber about this. I can do that. I'll get the info in no time. We recorded all the luggage that came in by the boat last week on the records. Louise helped me with the sorting, so there shouldn't be any mistakes or errors. Since it would be difficult to get timber to carry the box with the two of them noticing. Huh. Wait, about sorting the packages. Oh, she helped me out with sticking the marks onto all the packages in the boxes. Did anything strike you strike you during the whole process? Hmm, why don't you mention Louise didn't have that smell she usually has? Huh? That smell? Well, you see, just after we finished putting everything on the record, I noticed I'd forgotten something at my office and needed to get it. So you left the storage area. Yeah, but only for a few minutes. The thing is, when I got back, Louise didn't have her usual s scent anymore. It was weird. The scent that disappeared, is it related to this case in some way? 
Yeah, she looking suspicious. Burr. There wasn't anything for walls, but the records show there was one delivery. Whoa, watch it with that log. We need to get so defensive. We're not doubting you. In that case, did you carry any kind of box or anything like that? Burr. Huh? It says you did carry a box with a donut-like mark on it. Does that... Do they mean like a ring? I don't remember seeing a mark like that anywhere. Hey, what do you mean by a donut mark? I don't see it on the mark chart. Burr! Hey, calm down. I said we're not doubting you or anything. We might have better luck just going to the lake ourselves. Donut mark. Wait, is the bridge fixed? I kind of want to talk to Luis. But, but the bridge is open right here, right now. But the, but the, but the, but the bridge is open right here, right now. And the bridge is open right here, right now. Hey, Feebass, it's time to evolve. Huh, what's up, Feebass? Feeb beep. You came chasing after Crawdot, man. You just don't know when to quit, do you? Huh? Are you looking for someone? Milo isn't here right now. You see, one of Milo's friends is being accused of being of uh, bringing Crawdot in here. We're worried about Milo and his friend too. I hope we can clear things up soon. Thanks. If we need someone to have a look underwater, I will let you know. What's that? You saw something strange just now? What's this strange thing? Fee. Feba. Whoa! Well, look at this piece of wood. You went and found this for us? Thanks, Feebass. Feba. Yeah, this piece of wood might be useful for our investigation. Huh. So we got another piece of wood. I feel like we're gonna match these pieces of wood together like a fucking puzzle. What are you doing here? Ah, I just bumped my fucking knee. Ah! Help me with the investigation? Well, thanks. You poked a dirty rag that was floating in the lake, but it turned out to be a Pokemon? Maybe it was talking about Feebass. You gave it some medicinal herbs as an apology for poking it? Come to think of it, Wall said the reason he was coming to the lake was to gather ingredients for his potions. Hmm. Oh, shit. Well, look who it is. There's a whole ass crate. Is perfect. It seems Dr. Walls is indeed the culprit. They say there's conclusive evidence. Back up, bitch. Evidence that we pulled out of the lake. Is that? Yes. It's the symbol for Dr. Wall's home. This proves beyond a doubt that he brought the Crawdon to the lake. And it's all I needed to see. But why, Tim? Dun dun dun. The truth, Amanda. Amanda. It's too soon to give up. Let's keep investigating. <laughs> they about to arrest this nigga. We can investigate all we want. This nigga's going to jail. Walls will be able to feign, ign a little, uh, feign innocence once he sees this. Seems like I've won our little contest, eh, Mr. Detective? Does this guy go out of his way to be a jerk? Hmm. Hang in there. This doesn't look good for Mr. Walls, but if you think he didn't do it, I'll trust you, Tim. Please don't give up. All this on the blue tarp is evidence the police collected. Why don't you have a look? The island can finally have some peace. The mark is the one used for Wall's home. It seems that he was the one who brought Crawdot to the island after all. This is all the evidence we collected at the lake. You're free to look at any of it, but please don't remove anything. Hmm, it just looks like a bunch of trash. It's too early to decide that, Tim. Come on, let's have a look. I wonder if these wooden, what these wooden chunks are. I bet there's some white paint on the back. Hmm, well, I better make note of it anyway. What? I wonder what this plate was for. It's pretty dirty, that's for sure. Hmm, looks like it's just a piece of wood. Nothing special about it. Hold on, Pikachu, let me flip it. Ah, oh, white paint! Let's make note of that! Why is there a, mark, a circle sticker mark on the lake? According to walls in the timber, there was never any package for walls. There must be some kind of trick or something. A soccer ball? Maybe somebody forgot it here. It may have something to do with the case. Make a record of it for now. Hmm, so someone covered up his sticker with a different one. Or they covered up the original logo with his to frame him. This looks like it was some sort of box. It's busted up, but it must have been pretty big. Hmm, this could have been the box Crawdon was brought in. 
Oh, no shit, dummy. Hmm, all these scattered wood chunks and the white paint. Could this be? What do you think of Pikachu? Is there something about these wood pieces? Yeah, I was thinking, couldn't these wood pieces be part of the box Crawdont was brought in? The one with the donut mark. That's right, each one has this white paint on it, right? If we fit the pieces together, maybe we'll make the donut mark. Maybe we should give it a try. Yo, Gage the Great 21 just subscribed! Thank you so much for subscribing, dog. I appreciate it. Nah, Pikachu. It's time to wait, dog. If we're hoping to solve this, Yo, small Zora, I was thinking the exact same thing, dog. Let's go have a look. How can we make a donut mark? Dog, what? It's about time to open up your case notes and think about this. That's literally what I just did. That's literally what I just did. If we're hoping to solve this, we'll need all the clues gathered by the police. Let's go have a look. Don't tell me to open my fucking case notes book ever again, dog. Don't tell me to do this shit. What? What a strangely shaped rock. Looks like it was a part of a statue or something. What? Still doing your own investigation? The sticker was found under the wooden box. Maybe Walls forgot to pick it up. Why was the sticker just lying on the ground, I wonder? Piece of wood with paint on them? I didn't see any around here. Useless. Nigga, pull up. Pull up, bitch. Pull up. Act like I'm afraid of you. Oh, bitch, what? We searched this area thoroughly, but that's all we found. What? Did you know? You couldn't find anything, not even up there, huh? I wonder where it flew off to. It's not supposed to go that way yet. I mean, I don't know what I'm supposed to do other than. If we're hoping to solve this, we'll need all the clues gathered by the police. Let's go have a look. What does this mean? What does this mean? Can I evolve you? You know, this piece will be sure to help find Milo's friend. Hmm. I should go back to the tarp? I was gonna t uh, talk to Milo and get Milo to come to the lake. To see if we can get Milo to come to the lake because whatchamacallit one of them there. Take me there. I wanna go there. Take me there. What do you wanna do, Tim? Make the donut mark. Bum bum Let's bum. See if we can make a donut mark by fitting the wooden pieces together. I bet you we can. Let's see here. One, two, three. Four. Do you think that's right? Got you, bitch! Right. This must be the original mark. Doesn't look like a donut, though. Listen up. I'll bet if we combine that clue with this mark, we can make a donut mark. Asshole! We were right. All we had to do was place the sticker in the middle of the circle mark. And it becomes a ring. Now it makes sense. This is what the timber were calling a donut mark all along. We finally figured out the trick the culprit used. Yeah, the culprit first mailed the box containing crawled onto an island as a package for walls. And of course, the chief would put a circle mark sticker on it and record it as a delivery for walls. That's right. But then the culprit changed the sticker to the ring mark when the chief wasn't looking. And then the timber carried it to the lake. But the lake isn't on their chart of destinations so when to get the box delivered properly. So we need to guide the timber using a flag with the ring mark. But there wasn't any flag with the evidence the points collected. Dog, that's that fishing rod that we saw. Don't worry, Tim. I'm sure the timber will show us where the flag is. 
It's not a fishing rod. Hmm. Bum, bum, bum. Hey, Tim, what are you trying to do standing around in front of Wall's house? I'm about to have Timber guide me to a certain place. Hopefully this will let me prove Wall's innocence once and for all. What? In that case, I'm going with you. Looks like we're all ready. Well, then, let's go. Let's get going, Timber. It says we don't need to worry. They're always delivered package, packages correctly. Do I just have to wait for him? I definitely feel like it's Luis at this point. Luis, who was helping uh, the chief organize the, the shit that came in. She had it mailed to the island under Wall's address and then changed its delivery location. That's what happened. My niggas are back. My niggas just keep going. Look at the ass crawled on. Sit your ass down, nigga. Ain't nobody even going over there. Oh, yes, we are. Timber, what's wrong? They say their goal is up ahead. <laughs> it's high noon. If we search that area, I'll bet we'd find some evidence. Wait, Milo. <laughs> what are you supposed to do, dog? <sighs> what? What's happening? Oh, shh. It. And he's on his back. Get it. Get it. Fucking Hydro Pump. Knock that nigga out. Knock that nigga out. Knock that nigga out. <laughs> Feebass. Yep. Feebass evolved into Milotic. Feebass evolved into Milotic. I said that feet. All right, let's get down here and see this fucking information. Dog, do you see what I see? Oh, it's the fucking Milotic. I thought it was a whale lord. I was like, whoa. Whoa. Yeah. I couldn't have guessed that Feebass would evolve that into that Pokemon. Wait, yeah. tell me about Milotic. When I was a kid, I almost drowned in the lake. That, the Pokemon that saved me was my look. I'm glad I could see it again. Thanks so we can search inside the ruins. Hey, what do you want, dog? Mm. No one would ever guess you were once a Feebass. You know, anyone can change. Pokemon and people. I mean, if they really want to. Suck a dick. That is cool that you can see the Milotic in the background there. Pikachu, look! The flag! And it has the ring mark on it. This must be the flag of the culprit used to guide the timber. Hmm. The missing delivery. Mm hmm. The ring shaped mark. Uh huh. They're the only one who could have done those things in that amount of time. What are you thinking, Pikachu? It's Luis. Could it be? It's got her perfume. A bolt of brilliance. <laughs> okay, stop swinging that shit around, dog. The scent left on the flag must belong to that person. We need to find out for sure. Yeah. I mean, that's a dead giveaway. Dead giveaway. Dead giveaway. You found the ring marked flag. Yes, even all that's left to do is figure out who's the one that sent the flag. My neighbor got big testicles because we see this dude every day. I still can't talk to the Oh, yes, I can. It's certainly calmed down quite a bit. It's it's just 
seeing my little help. It said seeing my little help settle its nerves. It just wants to go home now. It was dragged here against his will by the culprit, right? Maybe it was just scared too. Craw. Seems like it's enamored with Milotic. Even the, the tyrant of the lake can't resist the beauty of Milotic, huh? Have you seen this flag before? Kra! It says it doesn't know. It was captured when it was asleep and brought here against its will. We eat ribs with this dude, but we did not have a clue that them girls was in that house. She said, please help me get out. Dig it, boy. Dig it, boy. It's so hard to live with one hand. My neighbor got big testicles because we see this dude every day. Every day. Alright, where this ugly hoe at? Where she at? See, she set it up to help scare people away so she could build her shit. Scare what's his name away because he was going to the lake to get ingredients for potions so she could build her resort. And homegirl is backing him, backing her up. A little bit. Homeboy is backing her up because he wants the fucking puss. What's up, Tim? You seem like you're in a hurry. This sweet smell is similar to the scent left on the flag, but could it be Luis who got the timber to the lake? Luis, you didn't happen to go to the lake with the timber one week ago, did you? Hmm? No, I didn't. I was helping the timber transport crew sort their luggage around the dock that day. I didn't have time to go on a tour like that. That fits the chief's testimony, too. I guess it would have been difficult for Luis to get the timber, but who did? So who could have possibly done it? Brr, just as I thought the culprit used his flag to guide the timber to the lake. I don't think it's gonna be one of these random NPCs. It was Spritzy. I was running on beaches now. Hmm, do you need something? The sweet smell, just like the scent on the flag. The flag you found at the lake has the same scent as Spritzy? I'm not sure what to tell you. We've never been up there at all. Are you all sure you aren't mistaken? It's no good. I'll take more. It'll take more than just our word to convince everyone. Well, we don't have a word. We don't have a choice, I guess. We'll have to get help from. From who? Doesn't help Pikachu. It really doesn't help Pikachu. Go to Manectric. Oh, the Manectric will smell it out. Ace card, thank you for the four months, my dude. Appreciate it. <laughs> Manectric. Do you see that, Tim? Manectric sneezed. Everything's clear, thanks, Manectric. Tim, gather everyone involved. And this is when we take the hood off. And I would have gotten away with it, too, if it wasn't for you and your meddling Pikachu. Ah, my ass. Keep your wits about you. We're doing all this just to talk to walls. I haven't even talked about our substance yet. Thank you all for coming here. Yeah. Tim, I know what you're going to tell us. You mm -hmm. figured out who the culprit is. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We already know who the culprit is. All evidence points to Dr. Wall. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what I discovered. The one who had Crawdont carried to the lake is... <laughs> Go on. Tell him, Tim. Fuck, I know. Brad Walls, Milo, Louise. I'm gonna say Louise. You, Louise, you're the culprit. That's just a bunch of nonsense. Is this your idea of a joke? Do you have any proof? Of course we do. Yo! Show her, Tim. The statue's in the secret path? No! The flag with the ring mark? Maybe. The circle mark sticker? Maybe. The box that had in it? I think it's the flag with the ring mark. Hey, no! Calm down, Tim. You can't rush this. I didn't I didn't click that. I didn't click that. I did, but I didn't click that. It's this. Thank you. 
<laughs> right here is the proof. What kind of proof is that? It's just the flag for timber transport. Yes, that's true. The culprit used this flag and had timber carry the box with Crawdont inside. Hmm. If that's the case, then what about this sticker? If your deductions are correct, then the box would have a ring-shaped mark on it, am I right? Guess what? No such mark has been found. Obviously, he's right. And you're completely wrong. Oh. He's wrong. The sticker was a trick just to frame Dr. Walls. A trick? As a matter of fact, a ring-shaped sticker doesn't exist. It never has. It was created by her. Oh, she shit. She the sticker from Dr. Walls' house and combined it with something she made. Right on, Tim. You tell him. What did Louis, Louis prepare? A flag with the ring mark. The Bosch, the, the, the sticker. Yes, that's it. Wait, no it's not. What? We found this down at the lake. It's a piece Yeet. of a wooden box. You can see there's a shape that's been painted on it with some white paint. Huh? What is that shape? Well, so when we fit the white parts together, it recreates this symbol. Yo. Yeah. Now, if I put this sticker on top. Bum, bum, bum! Timber thought the mark was new, and they simply followed the flag that they saw had the same mark on it. Yo. Yeah. Could it be? Hard to comprehend. How could someone as savvy as myself fall into a trap? You're too you busy swallowing penis. You were there helping the chief of timber transport, weren't you, Louise? Yo. Yeah. Easy, right? Because all you had to do was change the stickers. Of course, while no one was looking. <laughs> You're right, I could have done that. But you did. How could I possibly have had the time to guide the timber all the way to the lake? Oh yeah, that's the easy part. The chief said while you were sticking marks on the boxes, he had to return to his office and get something that he forgot. You didn't smell the same because your spritzy was, was gone. gone. A few minutes. Not nearly enough time for me to go to the lake and back. Wrong. All you needed was a few minutes. A sufficient amount of time for you to send a signal out, right? What are you talking about? Who would I be signaling to? Now that's easy. There's only one possibility. You signal to Spritzy. Yeah! What? Spritzy? That's right. And here's the proof. Spritzy is a cold, hard criminal! Maynetra, the flag makes you sneeze? That's because Spritzy's scent has soaked into this flag. Which means the culprit used Spritzy to guide the timber. That's a big ass box. That's a big ass box. Dr. Wallace is innocent? 619 Mysterio, here we go. So Louise, all you had to do was signal Spritzy. There was plenty of time while the chief wasn't looking. And that means your alibi doesn't hold up. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Why would she want to do something like that? Because she's building a resort. Resort she wants to build. And walls. You needed to get the land for. Is against it. So you framed Dr. Walls, didn't you? Yes. Yes, that's right. Why is that so wrong? Building that resort is my dream. Why is that so wrong? Ten out of ten writing. How could you do that? How could you do that? Calm down. It's all right, Milo. The only person you thought about was yourself. That's sad. You'll soon regret that. It's over now, Louise. Come with me. His hair is an ugly green. Like, her hair is blonde. His hair looks like... <laughs> if you had a highlighter that's been used too many times, and you get some away. ink mixed in with it. Walls was innocent after all. So now would be a good time to ask him about R. Yes! We got this nigga his innocence. Now he's gotta tell us. Tell us what you know. 
Tell us what you know. Oh, tell us what you know. 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 What you know. What you know. What you know. Second person. I believe it was about two months ago. A man asked me the same thing. And you know, I recall he had a Pikachu with him too. It was our dad. No way. That must have been my father. I'm trying to find him. That's why I came to ask what you know about R. Duh, my nigga is getting the rub. My nigga is getting the rub. Yeah. I'll tell you everything I know. Yes. About Harry. About two months ago, a man together with a Pikachu came to visit me. He asked me about R, but I chased him away without telling him anything. So Harry did know about R. Yeah, and that explains why this mysterious person was giving Carlos orders wanting him out of the way. R was supposed to be a miracle drug, an all-purpose medicine for Pokemon. Originally, we were going to use a, a certain Pokemon's cells to upgrade it. A certain Pokemon? Yes, the Pokemon named Mew! Its DNA is said to contain the genetic codes of all Pokemon. That kind of Pokemon really exists. But somehow there was a mistake! The cells we actually used belong to a Pokemon called Mewtwo. Mewtwo? A mysterious Pokemon created through the power of science. It is said to have the Berserk gene. I suspect this is why Pokemon become violent after being exposed to R. The lore in a side game is so deep. Damn. I'm sorry if I don't know anything about this, Carlos. You must have just entered PCL just after I left. I see. Is there anyone else who might know about R besides you and Carlos? Yes, I actually had one lab assistant. We've dropped out of touch since I left PCL, so I don't know what's become of him. Walls, former lab assistant, I ate. Sounds like something we should look into. What's his fucking name? You know, I remember something now. Your father said he was investigating Fine Park! Fine Park? It was an amusement park in Rhyme City. There was some sort of trouble there about a year ago, and I think it's been closed since. What do you mean, some sort of trouble? Well, I don't know the details, but I heard that Pokemon suddenly went wild during a parade. Pokemon suddenly went wild? I wonder if it's got anything to do with R. I bet anything that it does. We should go check it out. Leaving the island now? Yes, thank you very much for your testimony. No, I should be the one saying thanks. You've inspired me to believe in people one more time. I can't tell you how grateful I am. Well, please take care, Dr. Walls. Well, then, let's head home. Before we do, we should go say hi to Milo. Please do. The board sees you as a friend, and I'm sure he'll be happy you stop by. Once we're done saying goodbyes, let's head to the docks. We need to ride the boat to get back, unfortunately. Where the fuck's this ugly nigga at, dog? Well, where the fuck is this ugly nigga at? Where, where the fuck? Is this a reference to the Pokemon, the movie, or am I thinking too deep? I think you may be thinking too deep. I think it's just an alternate story based off of the same lore. I figured he'd be at the ruins, because my Lodic's in the water. My, 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 my Lodic's in the water. Wait in the water. Uh -huh. What? You're leaving already? But you just solved the case. You should hang around a bit more. Sorry! But we gotta keep- we, we're keeping people waiting. I'll come back again with Pikachu. Don't worry. That I better be a promise. Thanks again for having one of our investigation, Milo. Don't mention it. Thanks for clearing Wall's name, too. Hope you'll find your dad soon, Tim. You take care, too, Pikachu. You got it. See you around, kid. Bye. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. All right, so we can dip, 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 dip the fuck out. So that's the other part we were at before. We can dip, 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 dip the fuck up out. Dip, 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 dip the fuck up out. Hmm. Nothing better than staying awake till freaking 6 a.m. in the morning to watch a donut close a case and Pikachu get a strange, obscene rub. Hey, you let my nigga Pikachu, Detective Pikachu, get his rub on, okay? You let him rub it up, dub. Okay? He is enjoying himself. You let these timbers get their rub on. All these niggas get their rub on, okay? They're hard workers. <laughs> Great job, Tim! I'm glad the case has been closed finally. Bye. Are you sure you're done here? If you can't, if I can get the boat ready for ready to go. Yes. Let's head out then. We put Kabuchi Island behind us. And said goodbye to that shit. What?
That's our dad. Pikachu? Were you having a bad dream? Maybe he just doesn't like boats. I hope I haven't scared him. Eh, takes more than you're driving to scare me. Maybe I'm just getting old. Buck that wingle, buck that wingle, buck that wingle. Thunderbolt, now. Discharge, now.